Welcome back, boys and girls. Let's go ahead and let's work on page 278 in your second grade hybrid math workbook. What we're going to be doing now is we're going to be going uh, is we're going to go ahead and record some data onto a picture graph, and we're going to answer some questions. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do number one together. This reads: The list below shows the number of pets Angel saw at the pet store. So here it has all the pets that he saw at the pet store. Okay, then it says draw a picture graph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw a picture graph. So here I have puppy, snake, cat, bird, and I think that's all we have. Just puppy, snakes, cats, and birds, right? Yep. So what I'm going to do, since I have four, I'm going to split that down the middle. I'm going to split that down the middle too. Split that down the middle here. So now I've got one, two, three, four. So I have a puppy, right? So I'm going to go ahead and draw a picture of a puppy right there. Okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and draw a snake. I'm going to go ahead and draw a snake. Then I'm going to go ahead and draw a cat. Okay. And finally I'm going to go ahead and draw a bird. Okay. Equals. So now, let's go ahead and let's see how many puppies we have, how many snakes we have, how many cats we have, and how many birds we have. So let's start with puppy. We got one, two, three, four, five. We've got six puppies there. So what I would normally do is I would go ahead and draw a picture of each puppy, but I'm just going to go ahead and do one, two, three, four, five, six. We got one, two, three, four, five, six puppies. So we got a total of six. Now let's take a look at the snakes. Here I've got one, two, three, I've got four snakes, so I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, and I've got four snakes there. Now let's take a look and see how many cats I have. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I've got eight cats, oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight cats there. And finally, let's take a look and see how many birds we have. We've got one, two, three, three birds. One, two, three, I've got three birds, okay? So now that we have the data, and because this is a picture graph, I would typically just go ahead and draw the pictures of these animals here, but I'm not gonna do that right now. But you can go ahead and by all means, please draw pictures of these animals, okay? So let's take a look at number one. Number one reads, how many birds did Angel see at the pet store? How many birds? We got birds there. He saw three birds. Number two reads, how many more puppies did he see than birds? So how many puppies did he see? He saw three. How many birds did he see? No, I'm sorry. He saw six puppies and he saw three birds. How many more puppies did he see than birds? He saw three more puppies three more puppies. Okay? Number three reads, how many less birds were there than cats? So how many cats were there? There were eight cats. How many birds? Three birds. Eight minus three, that's five, okay? So he saw five more cats. Number four reads, how many total four-legged animals were there in the, part, in, in the pet store? Well, are dogs four-legged animals? Yes. Are snakes four-legged animals? No. Are cats four-legged animals? Yes. Are birds four-legged animals? No. Okay? So, we have to add the, the puppies and the cats. So, 6 plus 8 equals 14. So, he saw 14 four-legged animals. Number five reads, how many more snakes would the pet store owner have to buy in order to have the same amount of snakes as cats? Well, right now he's got four snakes. He needs to get eight total snakes to be the same number as the cats. So let's just count from four to eight. Let's count up four, five, six, seven, eight. So he needs four more snakes, right? Four more snakes. Now let's take a look at number six. 
Number six reads, what is the exact amount or the exact number of snakes at the pet store? Well, what's the exact amount? Four. And finally, number seven reads, if the pet store owner sold two birds, how many birds would there be? So here, if he sold two birds, how many would there be? There would be one bird. And that's it, boys and girls. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and make these picture graphs on your own. Go ahead and read the questions and go ahead and answer them. Boys and girls, you're doing an outstanding job. We're about three quarters of the way done with your hybrid math workbook. So make sure that once you get this workbook completed, that your parents follow the instructions so that we can send you a really cool certificate of completion. With that said, boys and girls, have fun, enjoy, draw pictures, and we'll see you at the next video.